All right, guys, so we're going to do the insulation here. I got John Connolly with me. Uh, he's going to show us how to put the uh, clamps on the bracket so you can see that and see how that's done so you're not putting them on backwards or upside down or anything else. So he's going to show the proper insulation of the clamps onto the bracket, and then we're going to go over to Ricky's bike and put the fairing on the bike. You have a 5 16 nut, which require a half-inch wrench. Bolt, I'm sorry. Put the bolt through with the black washer. You have two sections of the clamp. One is long and one is short. You want the long section, which is this part, Conley's, which faces up or down. Not that way. That is the wrong direction. The longest part facing towards the inside where the headlight would be. That time, take your finger. Now, it looks like it's going to hit. It's an optical illusion. Don't worry about it. It's going to touch. Imagine that there are two peas in a pot. That's how the clamp would go on. Lightly snug the clamp prior to tightening. That way you can allow the clamp to move when you get onto your fork. In this case we've already got four, three of the four clamps on the bike. So, clamps snug but not tight. These ones are snug but not tight. So, we're going to do the install here at Connolly's for Little Ricky. But, we're going to get you started and let you know what you're going to need to put the fairing on before you ever start. Now, I can tell you, my 17-year-old daughter can do this, but she knows she's been around this for a long time. So, if she can do it, you can do it as well. It's not as hard as everybody makes it think. So, we're going to start off with a list of tools. You'll need a 9 16 wrench socket and ratchet okay don't have it craftsman better yet you can go to the auto parts store craig and one of those places and rent the tools so a 9 16 open end box and wrench 9 16 socket and ratchet you're going to need a half inch wrench open end box then you're going to need me personally i use two extensions a quarter 20 or quarter inch extension long and a short quarter inch wobbly ratchet works great you don't have one that's fine it will lock and you're good just take your time you're going to need a ball end or square end allen which is 5 16 you'll also need a 3 inch 3 8 inch open end ratchet along with a eighth inch Allen. That should be all the tools you'll need except for one more important thing. You want to put something underneath the fairing, blanket, towel, not your concrete floor or your wood countertop. Better yet, your kitchen table works great. From there, we want to go to the bike. You're going to need two rags, Terry cloths work great. One to wipe your hands, one to align the headlight to the fairing, which is fine. Put something over the tank. You don't have to have a fancy tank cover, but a towel or a blanket works great. So that way if you drop something when you're doing this, you can not scratch your bike. Or if you notice, you don't scratch your fender either. Okay? So here we have the covers that you would require. Moving into that, your headlight is going to look like this. Take the bolt out of your headlight. Keep the bolt. Don't lose this bolt. Get rid of this part. At that time, our kit provides a headlight relocation block. Put that onto the headlight. Now, let's see this. this is a perfect example. Little Ricky's headlight rattles. Nine times out of ten, people call back and say, oh, my fairing rattles. That's not true. Here's your rattle right here. Not the fairing. And what happens is Harley, which makes an outstanding product, the rivets come loose. 
and these two little tabs will start to rattle. Once these tabs are bolted down, the headlight bucket and headlight will rattle due to the fact that the air is going around the fairing, around the headlight, through the fairing, and causing the headlight to rattle. So don't blame it on the fairing until you physically have checked this. Headlight block. You're going to install this on the bike prior to. <coughs> this is where you would require the 916 ratchet and socket along with the 916 wrench. At this point you notice I'm not tightening the headlight up completely. I'm going to snug it up but I'm going to allow the headlight to move and the reason I'm going to do that is so when I'm aligning the headlight where I want it to in the fairing I am not I can move the headlight where I want to move it. A lot of people call and ask, does our fairing mount to the triple trees? No. Nobody in our right mind wants to drill into your triple trees ever. That's like drilling into the frame and riding your bike down the road. Don't do it. Our fairings mount right here to the fork tubes in between the top tree and the bottom tree. It's really simple. So if somebody wants to sell you a fairing that mounts into your triple trees, don't do it. Sorry, it's not right. All right, headlight will be laying down. So you got the long bolt goes through the bottom of the triple tree. In there, you have the headlight block. So snug the light back up. Do not tighten it up all the way yet. So the light's still loose, the light's still loose. Fold it down out of the way, you guys. At this point, where you're going to need the second rag. What I do is I take the rag, which is like this, I fold it in half, fold it again, like so. At that point, I lay it over the headlight, and I'll show you exactly why. Again, four clamps are on the fairing. We're going to walk up to the bike. What I do is I grab my two fingers, set it over the headlight a little bit, and pop it on, and I can walk away. It's perfect. Now you see Ricky's fairing is just sitting there all by itself with that paint job. If you did it right, you should be able to do this. So here's what I'll do is I'll end up taking this rag, pushing it, into the hole. At that point, what that's going to do is allow me to get the fairing positioned straight with the bike and protect the fairing and the headlight from separating. Give it a little separation. You turn the handlebars all the way to the right. I start with one quarter twenty and a small straight Allen 3 16 come down here and get the fairing so that you can get one bolt snug and tight it tightened this way now the fairing can't fall and you can walk away from the bike completely grab the second bolt along with the second clamp put it on the Allen have your clamp somewhere close to you so that when you're putting the bolts in the fairing you can grab them and not have to try to fight putting the clamps on somewhere. Me personally I always tighten the inside ones down but not till all four clamps are back on. This way all I have to tighten is the outside ones. Same thing on the bottom. Lock it in there. You're only doing this by the handlebars so you can turn the handlebars and get a little bit of movement to get the clamps started. As you see, I'm not even looking. I'm just doing this with my fingers. 
So that one's snug. Same thing here. Okay, so that's one side. I'm gonna turn the handlebars the next direction and do the exact same step all over again, but on the other side of the bike. Now, because I'm backwards, I'm gonna set this here, and I'm gonna do this right-handed. But leaning over the bike, which is where the tank protection comes in. Snugged up, no problem. Put the Allen on the nut bolt from the inside, outside, however you got to get in there. Put your finger on the end of the wrench. Snug up the inside. And this is aluminum, so you do not want to over tighten these. Go to the bottom one, do the same step all over again. that point, straighten the bars back out so you can see the front of the bike. Blankets are in, your, your chamois or whatever you want to call it's in here. Get your fairing centered to the light. Tighten up the headlight on the bottom. Make sure it's straight. In this case, we got to line up the bottom light and the headlight. So now the headlight's tight there. Snug up the headlight block. Now with the rag in the headlight, in the fairing, you don't have to worry about the fairing being scratched on the headlight. Tighten it up. And there your headlight doesn't move. The rag is still in there. Do not remove the rag until the last steps. Me personally, I push the bottom of the fairing all the way in and the top of the fairing all the way out. This is now where your extensions will come in handy along with your ratchet and your 3 16 ball head Allen if you have one. If not, you can do it with a regular Allen. It's fine. Same thing, get your handlebars turned all the way to the right, put your extension along with your Allen, reach across to the other side, snug it up first, come to the bottom, inside, snug it up. Turn the handlebars all the way to the right, I'm sorry, to the left, reach back in again, snug the far clamp up, hit the top one,
Hug it up. Take out your extension. Put it in this one. Tighten it up. And that's it on that one. Snug it up. Turn the handlebars in the other direction. Tighten up the last two on this side. Put the handlebars back straight. Pull out the rag. And you notice you got a pretty good gap in there. So now I had this rag tightened up quite a bit. So we don't want that high of a gap. We want to lower that fairing just a little bit. So now, instead of folding the rag completely over four times, I'll slide the rag back in. Oh yeah, really Ricky? See, that's the rattle you guys are here. It's not the fairing. Somebody give Ricky a free headlight. <laughs> Put the rag back in. Wow, that is bad. Gonna loosen the two clamps just from the outside only. Turn the handlebars back the same direction again. Now you don't have to use this long of a ball in ratchet, it's fine. These are the two you want to loosen, the top one and the bottom one. And you only need to loosen them a little bit. From there, you want to push the two clamps down at the same time. If you have to, you can reach across and loosen them, that's fine. <laughs> and there you go, you got almost a perfectly tight gap all the way around. This point. Tighten your fairing back up once you've made it straight. Reach to the inside, snug them up first. Turn the bars direction again. Same exact thing. Tighten up the top one. Just needs to be snug, not tight. Take off your extension. Open up your clamp. 
snug, not tight. It's aluminum to steel. Aluminum to steel. It's going to be very snug. It's going to bite. Last time, turn the handlebars. Snug. There should be a little bit of gap in there. That's fine. Don't try to honk them down. And we're done. Come around the front. Pull your headlight out, your rag out, and voila. There you go. That is a perfect gap all the way around. Want about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Anybody that has mounted their light on and it sits behind the fairing can't figure out how to put their headlight block on. Anybody's light that is sticking way out in front of the fairing, you installed it wrong. This is the perfect exact way Conley's fairings have been since day one. And no rattles. And there you go. Remove your covers. Ride down the road.